LED lighting for photographers will be replacing flash and studio strobes as we know it. Now that's both a good thing and a bad thing. Good because LEDs make it easy to shape our portrait lighting into new directions we never thought of before with flash. LEDs are now powerful, portable, and battery powered too. LEDs allow us to set up one set of lights to shoot still photos and video footage at the same time with the same look. That's cool. Now the bad part about LEDs. Their color is fragile and it's not the same as working with daylight or flash. As a commercial photographer that's been working with LEDs for over two years now, I'm comfy with being careful with LEDs color issues. But I notice my portrait and wedding and senior shooter friends are struggling a bit with LED. To help bring them up to speed and to boost their color confidence, I made a new video that shows them what they want to know and what they need to know to not make the same mistakes I did. This shot, for instance, that you're watching right here, blends four different types of LEDs plus the halogen track lights that are in the room. Now, there's no post-processing whatsoever on this video clip. No color correction, no contrast correction, nothing. This is the quality that comes out of my camera. Now, do I need some sort of crazy special video camera to do this? Nah. Any mirrorless or DSLR will be able to do this if you feed it good light. Now, if you're able to do all this, good for you. Good. You don't need to spend 10 bucks on my video. But if you've got any doubts or any questions or you're just moving into this whole LED universe and you want to maintain color quality, could be the best 10 bucks you ever spend. In fact, if you watch this video and it wasn't worth your 10 bucks, get a hold of our customer service folks. We'll give you a different video, no charge. Guaranteed good, right? Thanks.